Hello guys, so welcome to Cure Tutorials. So now here I am coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting and exterior in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let me explain you if you have a CAD plan, you can just import into this and you can start up. But I'll be showing you without a plan. So let's take a reference over here. Let's go into rendering view image file. Let's take this reference so we are going to model texture this and also we'll be just lighting it up so let's get started so very first of all let's just take a plane over here let's take a plane so after taking a plane we'll be first creating this part if you want to go with the dimensions definitely if you have a plan you can put it in the top view and you can do that so uh, let's go let's take a box over here now let's take this first let's take a box let's just drag this box up over here push it back right click convert to editable poly let's go into the swift loop over here let's put one swift loop over here let's put one swift loop over here and let's take one swift loop okay so let's go into this and select this vertices and let's just pull this out over here let's again take a swift loop over here for this so this part will be of a glass part so we'll be keeping as it is for now so we'll be just assigning this swift loops over here let's select this polygons over here and let's slightly extrude this a bit out over here in this way after that what we'll be doing over here is like I'll just push it over here slightly and press 4 let's go into this select this polygons over here and let's just extrude it more out over here after that let's select this and extrude it a bit in front click ok so we can go into the vertices and if you like to push it a bit inside that can also be done over here in this way after that let's again take a swift loop over here let's use a swift loop that would be the height over here so let's again go into the edges slightly we'll push it out again take a swift loop you can again go into this view over here and add a swift loop over here in this way so definitely will be uh, creating a glass over here so you can also use directly a connect also not a problem so we'll be just adjusting it accordingly after that is done first let's save this file over here let's go into the exterior let's save this file once over here after that let's go on to the top view over here let's go to the top view over here and let's take a rectangle over here let's just draw a rectangle which is coming out from here till here <coughs> excuse me after that 
let's uh, go into modify first let's just give a let's select this just push this up go into modify rendering enable in viewport and let's just make it as rectangular and increase its width so once you're done with this we can again go on to the top view and you can see what changes we have done so right click on it convert to editable spline select this and slightly just push it inside so again take a line over here let's just take one more line over here and let's just push this line over here in the right way over here so go again on the top view over here select this go into angle snap toggle right click and set the angle as 90 degree so whenever you will rotate shift and rotate it will only rotate in 90 degree so let's just slightly push it over here go into vertices and push it over here now again use a shift option duplicate it in this way so in whatever way you want to duplicate it you can just duplicate that stuff over here so we can just select this all and let's just give a color to it for now after that few things will go over here on this side select the polygons over here and let's just slightly uh, inset it and let's extrude it a bit inside over here that's it all right so once you're done let's again take a box let's go to the top view over here take a box that's for the foliages so after taking a box over here scale it push it inside over here and let's increase its height a bit drag it over here convert to editable poly press 4 and again inset it and let's just slightly extrude it inside so if you want we can give some uh, alpha maps over here we'll be doing that definitely so once you're done with this we just give a color to it save your file again over here so now what i'll be doing over here is like i'll be just converting this also to editable poly i'll just drag it a bit back over here and select this part press 4 let's go into the polygons select the polygons over here and slightly extrude this so we'll be just extruding this out a bit over here that's it one more time slightly extrude this and finally we'll be extruding this in the same level over here so push it a bit inside over here in this 
so definitely we'll be selecting this part again right away we'll be selecting this whole thing let's just duplicate it let's rotate it and let's bring it over here and let's just drag it out in this way so definitely it would be at the height of this that's it so select this and slightly just push it inside and save your file all right so definitely uh, we'll be putting one more loop over here so i have just created with one box not a problem so guys if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section over here also we'll go over here and we also have a uh, glass over here so definitely this would be the area for a glass section over here so guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel that's k tutorials can slightly push this up actually if you see this its height is more higher than this so you can just select this whole thing over here slightly extrude it more up that's it all right save your file So thanks for watching this tutorial.